back in my chair for three days at the Olympia. I had every doctor in the world you can imagine because they didn't know what was wrong. It was terrifying. I've been depressed. I can beat my depression. Things happen for a reason. It's been a long time. All right, so yesterday was a fun day. I met Chris for the first time. We went over a game plan. Made some big improvements from yesterday to today, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I. Like, I'll tell you what, the amount of change we made after you saw me from last night to this morning, like, definitely, it definitely has me really confident that we're going to bring a really good look for the show, so I'm super excited, and it's finally cool to meet Chris. I looked up to him for a long time. Um, honestly, I've watched Chris's uh, content with Dave since, like, 2016 when I did my first show, so, like, it's, it's very surreal that I'm working with him now at the Olympia of all shows, so it's, like... And to finally meet him and pose, it's, it's just, it's a really awesome, rewarding experience, like, just all around, you know. To have the people that I do in my corner, to, you know, have all your guys' support, like, it's it's very humbling, it's very rewarding, you know, because there, there is a lot of times this year where I wanted to throw in the towel, like, even after Chicago, I got second, like, I was really, like, I was like, I'm, I'm drained, I, I can't do another one. And, you know, I, I found the, the power from God to keep pushing, and qualified at Tampa two weeks later and now we're here but there's a lot of moments this year where I was like you know what I don't I don't have it in me and I just I don't know I dug deep and you know got to this point now and even for like the Olympia prep like there's been a lot of times where it's like I don't I don't think I have the energy to keep doing this like and obviously it's stupid when you think about it but like when you're prep for an entire year like you're just get tired like your body gets tired your mind gets tired but like I said in previous videos like I'm very grateful that my body just has been responding better than ever, ever. So it's the fact that my body responded the way it did, it helped me mentally to just stay focused and keep pushing. So definitely blessed for that. But we're going to go hit one of the last workouts. I don't know if we're training tomorrow. I hope not. Chris might see the workout tomorrow. We'll see. But three day workout, I believe doing back and shoulders. I, I think so. We're going to have to kiss me muscle. Really good gym. Um, see that's where everyone's going. So hopefully we don't, you know, have to wait on machines forever, but we'll see.
Even if you still have Kobe in the background, we're gonna go check in the Mr. Olympia. 
You think I fall just like a guillotine. Let me tell you something. I've watched the check in videos for 2022 classic physical and like 15 times. So the fact that we're gonna do it right now is definitely surreal, but it's like the whole manifestation. Like I really visualized myself doing this. Even when I was a little shit fading classic newbie. So the fact that we're here is it's all thanks to God, you know. God is great. Good uh, check in. I want to eat shit. Yo, keep the new kick. Wow. First to get goose for my birthday. Better like than ever, right, Goose? Enough. I feel tighter like I'm just in poses. I feel it. It's the official Olympia recap. Honestly, I still can't believe I got on stage. That hasn't really hit me yet, because I'll tell you what, when I started Classic this year, I didn't really think I was gonna make it to the Olympia stage, so it's all still pretty surreal, and it's gonna take some time to just kind of sink in. But it was a blast out there, and I just, I truly had so much fun. Um, in terms of like placing, so if you get outside of the top 15, everyone is just pretty much tied for 16th, um, but 
I wasn't like dead last or anything, which was cool because I was the lightest guy on stage per height by far. I was 25 pounds under my weight cap, which was something I didn't really talk about because it was already kind of getting in my head that I was so light. Um, but yeah, I weighed 197 on stage. I can literally add 25 pounds of muscle, which is gonna be like, I don't know what that's gonna look like. But yeah. So I looked at like a website that does like the stage positioning and they said I was 20th. So I was top 20 in the world, which is pretty much the middle of the pack, which is kind of awesome because like I, this is just like the start for us and everything. Like to be top 20 in the world is insane. Like, and when I got into my call, there were seven people and it, it wasn't like the last call or anything too. When I was in my call, I was moved directly into the center of seven people. So there's three on the left, three on the right, three on the left, three, Jeez, three on the left, three on the right. Damn it. So I was directly in the center. So top 20 in the world, I can't complain. I'm super stoked at that. And I know next year is going to be way better because we have so much muscle to add. So, man, I'm just so grateful for you all supporting me. You know, it just, it truly goes a long way. Like after everything I went through last year and the year before, like it's, I just, it's, it kind of, it, it hasn't really hit me how I even got here because I thought I wasn't going to be alive. So the fact that I'm here, you know, just got done with my first Olympia and did pretty well, actually. It's surreal. Like it, it truly is. I'm just so beyond grateful. You know, God is good. God is great. So I'm excited to improve on this. And I'll tell you what, with 25 pounds of muscle, I think I'm going to be right there for a top spot in this division. Like truly. And if I'm being critical of myself, I think my look three days out would even been more competitive. Like I think my best look of this Olympia prep is three days out. I just, my body just, it was just did not respond the best the last week. I got injured, I injured my trap. I got barely in my neck. I couldn't really do cardio or pose or do anything for that matter. Until a few days after the show, but I still pushed through, even though I wanted to pull out. Happy I didn't. Um, and I couldn't like eat rice because my digestion was all messed up. I don't know if I was sick or whatever. It was just a lot of a lot of shit just popped up on me at once. Um, but I'm happy I pushed through, and God gave me the strength to push through and to bring a damn good look to our first Olympia. We qualified our first year in Classic. I didn't. This is my literally my first. I've been in Classic for five months, and we got to the Olympia, which is nuts. We had 25 pounds of muscle. So. Top 20 in the world, first Olympia, first year in Classic. Only been in Classic Division for five months. I am super blessed. And I hope you guys enjoyed this journey. It's just starting. And I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me. It, it truly goes a long way. So I have some clips from the expo where I get to meet you all. And next year's Olympia, I'm going to make sure I get a videographer and everything so I could be like legit. Um, I will make sure I'm more prepared. But I got some clips from the, clips from the expo uh, with you guys. So I hope you enjoy this. Love you all. Appreciate you all. Peace.